Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about December the 14th, 2020. Um, I've been wanting to do this class. I kind of wanted to get through the other fall festival days, particularly uh, Trumpets Atonement Day and the Feast of Tabernacles, uh, before I start talking about the Feast of Hanukkah. But now that we are finishing up those days, I do want to go ahead and talk to you guys about 12-14-2020. I believe this is a significant day. It has been my watch day for a while now, even back to a couple of months ago when I put together a video where I was trying to unlock the codes given in the book of Revelation. You can see the progress that we've made over here working out those timelines in the book of Revelation. Well, I want to talk particularly about 12, 14, 2020. I believe out of all that you see here going on, that might be the most important day out of all of them. So let me give you a little bit of background knowledge on how it is that I came up with this day. First of all, I was looking at the blood moons. You can see here a spreadsheet table where I've manually inputted all of the blood moons dated all the way back to 1992 through the year 2048. And I was trying to make sense of these. Of course, we hear a lot about that tetrad that happened in 2014. But turns out there's a lot more to this story than just that single tetrad. Even that tetrad is incomplete when you think about the previous blood moon fell right before Hanukkah and the one before that fell on the date of Pentecost. There is a lot of information around these blood moons. I believe they even paint a picture or draw out a story even though I'm not yet able to understand what that story is. Maybe I'll get a little better at it when I get ready to present all of the information from this diagram you see here. But in this video, I want to pay particular attention to the day 12-14-2020. So, I was looking at this blood moons and I noticed this particular blood moon right here that was sitting out there in the year 2021. It is actually the next blood moon on our list there. And this may be the only channel that you hear identify it. But it took a little bit of effort to understand that that blood moon actually falls on Pentecost. There's only a few ministers out there that really understand the true date of Pentecost. It took me a long time to figure it out for myself. But it actually falls on the 15th day of the third month. So that blood moon, our next blood moon, falls on Pentecost. Now, I had been working to get an understanding of the 1,260 days given over there in the book of Revelation and chapter 12. I do understand that Daniel's books were closed. And so his 1,290 day prophecy as well as his 1,333 day prophecy have absolutely nothing to do with the 1,260 day prophecy over there in the book of Revelation. I've understood this for a number of years, but I wasn't making any headway trying to figure out when this 1,260 days would actually take place because Anytime I would put in the 1,260 days added or subtracted from any significant day, I always came up with a blank. It always landed on a random day that didn't mean anything. For instance, if you come over and you look at the Revelations 12 sign in the sky, and you put in the date 9-23-2017 and you add 1,260 days to it, you end up on a random day. Even when you put in the dates of the Tetrad, choose any one of those blood moons you want and you're going to end up on a random day. 
And so for years, I had been trying to figure this out. I'm sure I'm not the only one trying to figure out what time span is that 1,260 days. Well, it is only when I recognize that our next blood moon actually falls on Pentecost that it started to make sense. Because, well, let me back up just a little bit. When you come and you look in the book of Revelation, in chapter 12, that's what many refer to as that Revelation 12 sign in the sky. That is the starting point for the 1,260 days that you see in verse 6 of chapter 12. So it only really made sense to start on September the 23rd, 2017. But look what happens when you recognize May 26 as an important date and subtract 1,260 days from it. You end up on December the 13th, 2017. Now, at first, I thought that too was just an old random day until I went in and I looked at the dates of Hanukkah. And turns out December the 13th, 2017 is actually the first day of Hanukkah. You see here where it says Hanukkah 2007 begins in the evening of December the 12th. Well, that would make December the 13th the first full day of Hanukkah. That is how our father helped me to unlock the code of the 1260 days that is the 1260 days that's talked about over there in the book of Revelation in chapter 12 it doesn't start on the memorial of blowing of trumpets or Rosh Hashanah 2017 it starts during the feast of Hanukkah of 2017 so that brings in Hanukkah as a significant player in all of these events that are taking place. In the times that we live in now, Hanukkah may be just as important or maybe even more important than the Feast of Tabernacles. I just did a class not too long ago on how Hanukkah is actually a second Tabernacles. A tabernacles that you would perform 70 days after the first tabernacles. So anyway, I started paying particular close attention to the Feast of Hanukkah. And then our father brought this to my attention. That solar eclipse that makes the X across America started in August of 2017 and ends in the year 2024. Guess when the exact middle of of that date is so when you're looking at the time between August 21st 2017 and April 8th 2024 you see that there are exactly 2,422 days half of that would be 1,211 days so when you come in and you add 1,211 days you find that the midpoint between that X and the sky is exactly December the 14th, 2020. Now, we've already done a lot of classes. I mean, a lot of classes on the significance of the year 2020. Basically, if you start over in the year 606 BC, which is the time that the 70 years of captivity started, and add 1,290 days you end up at the abomination of desolation and then if you add an additional 1,335 days you end up in the year 2020 so what does that all mean well look at what I understand has happened so far started in or about 2014 you had a seven-year covenant building period with the father's people this would include his chosen elect this would include the 144,000 you see that talked about over in the book of Revelation and chapter 11 see where verse 1 says he was given a reed like unto a rod and asked to measure the temple this is the third temple that he's actually measuring a spiritual temple built on the hearts of humanity but then notice down here in verse 2 how he says 
leave the courtyard out of the temple for the Gentiles will trample it under their feet for 42 months what that's talking about is how the bride of Christ started to be brought back into the fold in the year 2014 I actually believe that was a sabbatical year a lot of people lost their jobs in that year many of which went back into the job market but a lot of people went into the wilderness where they learned the covenant and learned to live in the father's kingdom that would have been when the temple and the courtyard was measured well after those 42 months was over you had the revelations 12 sign in the sky when the rest of us started to learn the law and to keep the commandments that would have been during the fall feast days the memorial blowing the trumpets it would have been during atonement day and it also would have been during the feast of Sukkot well 80 days after the revelations 12 sign in the sky would have began the 1260 day period that we read about in Revelations 12 and 6 it would have also been the end of the 42 months in which the Gentiles were trampling the courts so that would have been a time that the two witnesses received their power so what does that mean if the 1260 days began on 12 12 2017 that would mean that we will see the appearance of the two witnesses on Pentecost of the year 2021 which actually gives more credibility to this 1214 date as being the great awakening date because it very well could happen so that there's a great awakening in all of humanity on 12 14 20 but then out of all of the people who are awakened the two witnesses as well as the lawless one will start to take actions that we can recognize by Pentecost of the year 2021 confirming what we read about in the apocalypse of Elijah which states that the lawless one will appear in the fourth year of the willful king making President Trump the willful king and the lawless one appearing after the inauguration of his re-election so the reason why so many people have had a hard time unlocking the code of the 1260 days is because we wasn't taking in account Hanukkah well the watchmen of the world may actually be the only ones not taking it into account Hanukkah because when you look at that new clock that everybody is talking about that seven year countdown clock in New York City well, I'm looking here at climateclock.com or climateclock.world and we can see that clock as it ticks down we see that we have seven years and 83 days left well let's see when that takes us to I'm gonna hit today and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add seven years and 83 days it's 14 hours so we'll give or take a day where does it end up Friday the 31st 2020 2027 and say that could be a random day nope that's one of the last days of Hanukkah that clock that they just put up in New York City is actually pointing to the year 2027 Hanukkah of the year 2027 and you say what's the significance of the year 2027 well I didn't plan on going into much detail about the prophecies of Daniel we've done a whole class on this but if you look at his times time and half a time prophecy using 490 years as a time and starting in the year when Constantine took over the church and created what we know as the harlot church or the Catholic church you see that those times time and half a time that you read about over there in Daniel in chapter 7 will end in the year 2027 
that's pointing to the destruction of Babylon in the year 2027 so looking back at this chart we've been putting together you start off with the Great Awakening in December of 2020 kicking off the apocalypse the seven years of the apocalypse takes you to the year 2027 so even the government has its eye on Hanukkah I could give you guys more detail on December the 14th 2020 after our father helped me to understand the significance of December the 14th 2020 I went over and started trying to find secondary confirmation on YouTube and there are others looking at December the 14th 2020 but they're using completely different methods than what I found they're using stuff like Stellarium and star alignments apparently there's some convergences happening in December of the year 2020 I'm not good at that stuff but I'm sure it adds more confidence to the idea that something actually could happen on 12 14 2020 but I just wanted to get this video out we'll put out more classes on it go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that you can see when those classes come out if you've gotten something out of this video go ahead and hit the like button if you didn't go ahead and hit the dislike button but leave us a comment either way and shalom